What's up guys, welcome to Dino Demos, I'm Rod. I'm Lego, and today we're going to be installing the JD Customs anti-buffing kit on my T-Sport bearing. Alright, so make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. All right, guys, so first thing we're gonna do is take off the old T-Sport fairing. So if you look, um, this is a crater fairing. You know, it's pretty pretty cheap material. Um, everything they use, like if you look at these grommets, they're actually dried out and they're freaking breaking away. So I'm just gonna completely get rid of these. And then uh, after I take this off, I'll show you the JD Customs hardware. Um, they come with pretty good stuff. All right, guys, so right here, this is the uh, Crater Fairing Windscreen. So it's a lot cheaper material than like what JD Custom uses, but it's the uh, same se setup. I think Crater just copied JD Customs in the way that they mount the fairing or the windscreen to the fairing. Um, so right here, you can just buy the JD Customs anti-buffeting kit. We get a lot of questions about buffeting. So you know what? I was just like, screw it. I'm going to buy the hardware. I'm gonna mount it up and then I'll let you guys know uh, what I think of it after I ride with it a little bit. So if you look over here, um, this is how it gets mounted. You know, the, the top holes of the windscreen right here, that's the mount and then you got the bottom mount. So I'll show you guys how to set up that hardware and uh, then in a later video, I'll let you guys know if I think uh, this kit's worth it or not. So I'm gonna put the grommet that comes with the JD Customs kit onto the uh, bottom hole. And these things look uh, way more heavy duty than the ones that the crater kit comes with, the crater fairing. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Make sure it's seated properly and then you're just gonna repeat the same steps on the opposite side. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you how to install the hardware for the, uh, the windscreen. So uh, you get this huge black spacer um, and all you do, you're gonna put this spacer between the uh, fairing and the windscreen itself. So run the, uh, run the bolt through the windscreen, then add the spacer and you're gonna do the same thing on this side. and a nut all right guys so for this step the upper mount you're gonna have to position them in a way um, right here so they swivel and everything so you're gonna have to position them in a way where you'll have enough clearance between your the top of your windscreen and whatever you have going on up here so I have gauges so when I mount this thing I need to make sure that there's enough clearance otherwise it's gonna sit there and it's gonna hit the uh, gauges mm -hmm. all right guys so we just figured out if you're running the crater fairing um, it comes stock with these uh, bolts for the upper mounts and then the uh, JD Customs kit comes with these bolts. So if you're going to use the JD Customs kit, you're going to need to just take the washer off of the bolt the JD Customs kit comes with and you're going to have to reuse the uh, crater bolts because the bracket here, the uh, receptacle is too wide for the other bolt. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten up the top. Now make sure when you're tightening these down, you don't get too crazy and crack your windscreen. Okay guys, so what we did was we uh, put in the bottom hardware. So like I said, it goes bolt, then you got this black washer um, between the actual uh, windscreen and then the fairing. You have this uh, big spacer. And then on the back side, all you have is a washer and a nut. Now up top, like we said, um, this is the actual bolt that the crater fairing came with because the JD Customs one didn't fit. Um, but we still use the washer. So 
what we did was we tightened down these two bolts first and then after we tightened these ones down we went up top and what i had to do was um, what i had to do was right here this bracket i had to make sure that this was pushed uh all the way up and then um, i had to make sure that there was enough clearance right here between my gauges and the windscreen because if there's not clearance here then obviously it's just going to sit there and rattle now i don't think that this hardware fit perfectly but like i said this hardware is for the jd customs um fairing specifically and this is the crater fairing so i think that it's going to work out pretty good but uh we'll make sure to bring you guys a review and let you know how it went as far as the install goes we're going to say this was an easy six pack you know uh not many tools were used just normal tools so easy six pack all right guys so that's going to do it for the jd customs anti-wind buffeting uh kit for your fairing uh, like Lego said earlier, the reason we did this video was because we've been getting a lot of questions about it. So we went out and bought it uh, so we can test it and see if it helps you guys out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Rod. I'm Lego. And make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.